Welcome to Curvy and Shay. Welcome back. Long time coming. I decided my hair wasn't blonde enough, so I wanted to go blonde. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I, yeah. What's well, Arada? That's what happens when you're blonde. So she's gonna be dyeing my hair because I do not trust myself to dye my own hair. I'm not a professional. She's gonna throw that out there right now. And we're gonna be asking each other some personal questions. We're gonna answer some cha chakra, chakra. I don't cha even know. Everybody says it different. Chakra based learning questions, basically learning about yourself and how to open your chakras. So yeah, you questions. That, that's that's so they're personal questions. We're probably gonna do one question per chakra. Yeah, for each of us. So. Yeah. You ready for this? I'm gonna get ready for this. We're starting with the root chakra? Yeah, that's what you said, right? Yeah. Okay. What traumas have you inherited from your ancestors? Oh, Jesus <laughs> Where do I even begin? <laughs> I feel like not having patience. I don't know if that's considered a trauma, but like I've noticed everybody in my family. Just from generation to generation, how I knew them. They don't have patience with anything. They need shit done, they need shit done now. And if you're not listening to them, all hell breaks loose kind of thing. I think especially in like a parenting aspect, because that's something like, you know, I'm trying to be different about. Try to be more mindful of my kids' feelings rather than see them as like something I own. Like, my ancestors. <laughs> Ye oh, it screws off. It's legit. <laughs> How do you unintentionally allow others to invade your personal boundaries? Something you know you do that isn't maybe for the best for your health, but you do it anyway. Trying to be strong in like a bad way that I like ignore my emotions. <laughs> yeah. And that I think it's annoying when other people do it, <laughs> but it's like, we're just human. Yeah. And I just need to accept the fact that we're just we human. Yeah, I don't think we give ourselves enough grace for being human. Cause it's hard, man. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you um, feel like you could like correct that, that boundary? I don't know, just be more mindful of it, which is what I'm doing now. I think more tough like in a physical sense or physical and mental. If you feel like you have like a need to almost like defend maybe yeah but also like i don't want to be seen as weak yeah reflect on any personal habits that make you feel guilty why do they stir this emotion in you guilty i mean like eating sugar so much <laughs> unhealthy foods <laughs> why do they stir this emotion in you what, what does it make you feel like <laughs> makes me feel like, when I think about it, I think we feel thick. Sick. Thick. A-E-G-C. <laughs> I want a better, I want a healthier future for myself. And I feel like I'm just betray betraying my future self. Yeah. Notice how the following statement makes you feel. I deserve pleasure in my life. How do these words sit with you? I believe it. Like, I, re I hear those words and I'm like, yeah, that's true, that's true. But, like, that also means, like, I'm probably not living you know, a life that makes me feel the way I like that, you know, to feel. It makes me feel like almost motivated to go get the life I want. <laughs> that makes any sense? Yeah. Hey, I mean, it sits with you the way it sits with you. Right? Yeah. Whatever your thoughts are, correct? <laughs> <laughs> you right, I should. Let me work on this. But I feel like if you would have asked me that, you know, a couple years ago, mm -hmm. it would have been completely different. Like, I may have still thought I deserved that. But I wouldn't feel motivated or like care to change it at all. Yeah. Like, and use that as like a lesson for myself and my growth. Okay, when do you feel least confident? How can you support yourself and create more confidence in these situations? Oh, uh, I feel the least confident when I'm not taking care of myself the way I should be. I didn't grow up in a place where I was taught to do that. I was very much raised by a narcissist and her emotions and stuff always came before any of ours. Anything she wanted, you know, she basically used us <laughs> in that way. 
which forgiveness has been set upon, so don't worry about that, but that doesn't deny the fact that I did grow up in a place where I wasn't taught to brush your teeth twice a day, like, I, or wasn't enforced at least, and skincare and just taking care of your body and eating healthy, because like, oh, my, my parents obviously don't eat healthy and they haven't taken care of themselves, so I think not taking care of myself, especially eating like a lot of fast food and you know, not wiping my makeup off before bed because I know it's bad for me, I'm just being lazy. How can you support yourself and create more confidence in these situations? Being more mindful of how I'm taking care of myself and how I'm treating myself, including like the things I'm saying to myself, because I feel like that goes gets left unsaid a lot. Like people are so focused on looking good physically that they forget what's mentally hurting them as well. Do you believe you can achieve your goals and dreams? If not, what's holding you back? Which goals and dreams? I have so many. <laughs> Is there a reason you have so many? Uh, yeah, because I can't decide what my main thing is. But like, does there have to be like a main thing? You can have multiple goals. I was just <laughs> curious to see what you say to that. But it's like so hard to pick a career like that. I don't know what else to do. One thing at a time. I mean, we're, you're only 26. Why would you settle for just one? Do one for a while while you're learning another one and just... Well, I have to have a career. Keep is what the I'm passions burning and going. I can only have one career. I, mean, I guess I'm sure at one point I'll maybe fulfill one of my dreams. What's holding you back is not being able to like pick one and, you know, stick with them and really make that your solid choice because yeah you have FOMO of missing out on all the other goals and dreams you have as well. Yeah. That makes sense. What were you taught about giving and receiving love as a child? Man, I have no idea. <laughs> I feel like that kind of boils down to just like what was love to you? Like how did your parents show love and how did that show you what love was to other people kind of deal maybe? I got my people pleasing attributes from my mom. But which is really what I just thought love was. <laughs> in relationships with others, what is your biggest flaw? Probably lack of communication, which I feel like I've done a hell of a lot better at. Yeah. That was like going on. Maybe beforehand, if you'd asked me like, when I was in a relationship with Damon, mm -hmm. I think my issue was unhealed trauma. And I was expecting, you know, this codependent love from Damon when I shouldn't have been. And when I didn't get it, it hurt. and. I let that trauma kind of like overcome me, but now it's just communication. I like to be a loner and just be by myself. But if it's like an important relationship to me, I make time to communicate. Like I've learned how important that is. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say what you think people want to hear rather than what you really think? I definitely, absolutely you should do that for sure. I feel like I still do it sometimes, but I'm more aware and conscious of it now. Because when I did do it, I would never feel like satisfied in the talks I had with people and didn't really feel like I was honoring myself and my mind and all of that jazz, you know. I just wanted to be liked, which again, charm. <laughs> <laughs> I used to say what people wanted to hear because I wanted to be accepted and loved by those people. I didn't really have someone sturdy and reliable in my life, you know. So I just wanted to fit in. Now I understand how that makes me feel. I'd rather like be unapologetically myself and be around people who accept me for that and not waste that time and energy trying to be something I'm not. Because it really does turn into like a character if you let it. Mm-hmm. You, same question since... I was going to ask, like, do you want me to do the same <laughs> one or Google something else? Okay. Definitely. All the time. Yes. I'm like, you know, I'm like really indecisive. When I'm in a situation where I'm indecisive, I kind of just let the part of me that wants to people please take over and it happens all the time and I feel like part of it it's, it's like it's a partly true like I'm never like fully lying to people yeah I just don't fully say what I want what might you be in denial about right now I don't know because like all the things that I like you would think I'd be in denial about if I admit that I'm in denial about it then like that's not how Manifesting works. You're so I don't want to say it. So you're in I'm denial like, about things you're trying to manifest. You almost yeah. feel like they're not going to come true. Yeah. And I don't want to say that out loud. Cause no, then that's that's going to make it even more true. That's not what I want to do. Why are you in denial? Because I'm smart. <laughs> and like I can realize reality. So part of you believes manifestations don't work? No. 
I believe it works. It's just part of me realizes that, like, also couldn't happen. If it's not meant for you. Yeah. Name an area in life where you're seeing in black or white. And what shades of gray are you missing? Definitely seeing, like, being nice or not nice to people. Because, like, I feel like I've held on to this belief the past few years, especially, like, after things went down with Damon that if I'm mean to them in any way, that it's gonna come back on me and I'm gonna have that energy, which I do believe that if you're consistently treating other people like shit, you're not, you're gonna have a shitty life, you know? Um, I think I've come to the point where I found there's a balance, like, I don't necessarily have to be mean to people, but I don't have to be fucking nice to them all the time either. Like, if you fuck up with me and I need to say shit, I mean, I should be able to say it, you know? Like, I don't give a fuck if it hurts your feelings because you just fucked with mine. So I feel like that is something I've been seeing in black and white and I'm trying to see it in other colors. Yeah, so what are, what shade, what, what are the shades of gray you're missing? I guess kind of like when I explained, like, I'm not going to go out of my way to, like, be fucking mean to someone. Because that's just not how I am. I'm not a bully. But, like, after, you know, who sent that long ass text message, there are so many things I wanted to say back, but... For many reasons I didn't, but like I feel like if I could have messaged her back, I would have tried to be just like nice and you know, just like whatever, when really I should have given her a piece of my fucking mind. You know, but like I've been doing so good at just like treating people good because I feel like I felt like that's the kind of energy I want to get back, but I also feel like I'm not looking at the color of like defending myself and my peace and standing up for me either. Even when you're alone, how can you forge a sense of connection with not only yourself, but other living beings and the universe as a whole? Meditation. And yoga. I don't know, just eat, being able to sit down and can breathe. Oh, And because I feel like we spend most of our day, especially those who, of us who like have more trauma than others, um, <laughs> feel like we go through the day being dysregulated in our breathing patterns and stuff. Oh, even just being anxious and stuff that it dysregulates your breathing pattern. Mm -hmm. I feel like being able to just meditate and breathe and like stretch and like focus on that and not be focusing on anything else just helps. Uh, if you know, you know. <laughs> um, who is your highest self and how does your higher self show up in the world? Like as the lessons I learned in the TV shows like I was saying and through water and like everywhere dude. Especially like more now than before so what are like some aspects of who you are like your higher self i feel like serve? like just like justice um, like just i was like just what <laughs> like like i like you know like really like who deserves good and who deserves bad i don't feel like i'm here to determine that i just feel like my higher self is just i guess i guess we'll show you results Results. Results. <laughs> the results. I said resilience. I'm like, wow. resilience. <laughs> ah. All of our individual shit is in the link down below. Go go subscribe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye.